Welcome to our next video. We're talking about product curves and cost curves and the combination between the two. Take a look at the product first. If we look at marginal product, let's just face this situation. Marginal product rises. What does that mean? If marginal product rises, then the total product, then the total product, how can we term, interpret this? The total product becomes steeper and steeper and steeper, which means, as a consequence, that if quantity rises, if quantity rises from here to there, for example, so total product rises faster than the quantity does. And if total product rises faster than the quantity, the costs will go down. Marginal costs will go down, which means which means that the cost incurred by one additional quantity will go down. This is important to understand. Marginal costs will go down if and only if marginal product goes up. Again, I'll try to explain this again because this is very, very important for you to understand. So if quantity rises and say total product becomes steeper, and it does become steeper if marginal product rises. So if total product becomes steeper, then the product, then the output, rises by far more than the quantity does. And if this happens, then the, the additional cost incurred by one additional quantity will go down. This is important. This is very, very important. Keep this in mind, please. So, marginal product goes up if and only if marginal costs go down. And the maximum of marginal product is here, right? It's the same as the minimum of the marginal cost curve. This is the combination between marginal product and marginal cost. Then there's a second aspect of the wet curves, the average product and the average variable cost. Because there is an intersection point between the average product and the marginal product. The maximum of the average product is intersected by marginal products. So the inter first, the intersection point between marginal product and average product is just as well the, the quantity of the maximum of the average product curve. And the same holds true for the cost. The same, I mean, maximum of the average product is of course minimum of the average available cost. So the same holds true if we look at this as maximum here and minimum there. Which means the point of intersection of this is just as well the point of intersection of marginal costs and average variable costs. So there are two or three very important aspects. First, marginal product rises if and only if marginal costs go down. Second, the intersection point between average product and marginal product is just as well maximum point of average product and just as well minimum point of average variable costs and just as well the intersection point, the point of intersection between marginal costs and average variable costs. Thank you for watching.